Hey everyone, I welcome you all to Simply Learn. In this session, we will discuss about the two important parametric tests that are Z test and T test, and what are the major difference between them. We'll also work out on an example to understand how the Z value and the critical value plays an important role in the hypothesis testing. So, without further delay, let's begin. We'll start by discussing what is hypothesis testing and what is the importance of null hypothesis. Then we'll discuss the example for the same and then we'll move on to Z test and T test and understand the difference and the major points regarding it. So, what is hypothesis testing? A statistical hypothesis is an assumption about the population parameters. This assumption may or may not be true. Hypothesis testing refers to the formal procedures used by statisticians to accept or reject the statistical hypothesis. Here, the alternate hypothesis is usually your initial hypothesis that predicts the relationship between the two variables. For example, suppose you answer the question how many hours per day a student play outdoor sports. With this data, you can make a hypothesis. Students who spend more time on outdoor activities stays fit. In this hypothesis testing, there is one major term that is null hypothesis. A null hypothesis expresses the opposite of what a researcher or experiments predicts or anticipates. It essentially defines the statement that no exact or actual relationship exists between the variables. Usually, it is denoted by H0. Let's try to understand the research and null hypothesis with the help of an example. Suppose the research hypothesis says the amount of time that is spent on a cricket practice results in a positive performance in the actual cricket match. So, in accordance with it, a null hypothesis can be that the amount of practice is not positively related to the performance in a cricket match. Now that we know about the null and research hypothesis, let's move on to Z test. So, what is Z test? A Z test is a statistically significant test for hypothesis testing. It is used to analyze whether the two population means are different or not when the variances are known and the sample size is very large. In this, the sample size should be usually more than 30. And when the Z distribution is normal, the mean is 0 and the variance is 1. There are few assumptions that we take into consideration when calculating the Z test. The first one is although observations are independent, there are majorly three steps in the hypothesis testing. The first one is state the null and alternate hypothesis and perform the statistical test and with the help of a z value, we can accept or reject the null hypothesis. Let's discuss this more clearly with the help of an example. But before that, let's discuss the formula. So to calculate the z value, we have this formula that is x bar minus mu divided by sigma divided by root n, where x bar represents the sample mean and the sigma is the population standard deviation. N is the sample size and mu is the population mean. Let's see how you can use this formula to arrive at a null or alternative hypothesis. Let's say that the mean score of students in a class is greater than 70 with a standard deviation of 10. If the sample of 50 students was selected with a mean score of 80, we have to calculate a z value to check if there is enough evidence to support this claim at 0.05 significance level. So, Let's point down the important data. We have the x bar that is sample mean equal to 80. The sigma is given to be 70 that is the population standard deviation and is the sample size which is equal to 50 and mu is the population mean that is equal to 10. Putting all the values into the formula, we get z value to be 7.09. Now at the significance level of 0.05, the critical value is 1.645 which is calculated with the help of a z table. You can get this z table simply by searching in Google. So we have a z value to be 7.09 and the critical value to be 1.645. Since 7.09 is greater than 1.645, we can simply reject the null hypothesis and come to a conclusion that there is enough evidence to support that the mean of the class is greater than 70. This is how you can use a z value to arrive at a proper conclusion. Now let's move on to t-test. 
t-tessel statistics is a method of testing hypothesis about the mean of a small sample drawn from a normally distributed population when the population standard deviation is not known in this case the data is continuous the formula to calculate the t value is x bar minus mu divided by s divided by root n where x bar is the sample mean s is the sample standard deviation n is the sample size and mu is the population mean Let's discuss with the help of an example. Suppose a store wants to improve its sales. The previous sales data shows that the average sales of 30 person was $40 per sale. After some corporate training, the current data showed an average sale of $1.60 per transaction. As the standard deviation is given to be $20, we have to calculate the t-value, and we have to arrive at a conclusion that did training improve the sales or not. So in this case. We have the sample mean to be 60, standard deviation to be 20, the sample size is taken as 30, and the population mean is 40. Putting all the values in the formula, we'll arrive at a value of 5.47. In this case also, we assume the significance value to be 0.05. Now moving from right to left in a z table, the critical value will come out to be 1.711, which is less than 5.47. So in this case also we can reject the null hypothesis and we can conclude that the training did affect the sales and the training was helpful. So with this we come to an end to this tutorial. I hope the tutorial was useful for you and you understood what is z-test and t-test is and how it can be used. If yes, do subscribe to our channel so that you never miss an update. Thank you again and happy learning. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.